Local coverage now continues with Mike Helgren. He is live, uh, not far from where I am. He's been speaking to people in the community. Mike, a lot of people who said that they were supposed to be traveling this bridge at this time. They use that bridge often. And again, just trying to come to grips with this heartbreaking reality. It's really hard because so many people can put themselves uh, in the shoes of what happened, you know, and they travel this bridge every single day. We heard from Pete Buttigieg, the transportation secretary, who says uh, it would be very difficult for any bridge to withstand a direct hit from a vessel that's this large. We're also learning more about the ship's record. We understand that there was an inspection on June 27th where there were issues with the propulsion machinery, some of the gauges, th some of the thermostats. And then there was a follow up inspection in September that turned up no issues. That is something that NTSB investigators will certainly be looking at. In just seconds, the 47 year old Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed, struck by a massive cargo ship, the Dolly, that left the port of Baltimore about half an hour beforehand. The crew reported a power outage and issues maintaining propulsion, but gave enough warning to stop traffic, saving lives. This is no ordinary bridge. This is one of the cathedrals of American infrastructure. It has been part of the skyline of this region for longer than many of us have been alive. So the path to normalcy will not be easy. It will not be quick. It will not be inexpensive. But we will rebuild together. People miles away reported feeling the ground shake, the explosive impact jolting them from their beds. Well, I was sleeping. About 1.30, I felt the vibration of the house vibrating and heard the big bang come down. Looked out on the water, as you can see, you see the ship out there sinking, the bridge is gone. And uh, it was, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. I've been in this neighborhood 57 years. I remember when they started building that bridge and can't believe it's gone. I heard a very loud noise. It felt like, or heard like thunder to me. However, it's like very long thunder, but it was very loud. I live not too far from here in Dundalk. So I, I thought it was thunder or possibly a train. Crews worked for hours in the dark, cold Patapsco River to rescue those who plunged into the water. Members of a construction crew repairing potholes on the structure. I hope every single one of them is okay. I prayed for them. I'll continue to pray until they're found or okay. Investigators will look at all aspects of the ship and the bridge. This is video from our WJZ crew that passed under the key bridge 11 hours before its collapse. My dad, he takes it in the middle of the night to basically like right in the morning because that's what time he gets off. So I imagine him going over that bridge at like 11 a.m. Like it's got to be crazy. I'm sure you're going to hug your dad yes. when you see him. I am the biggest hug. The port remains closed. Traffic rerouted. Many simply cannot believe the key bridge is gone. You know, we go through a lot. Sometimes Baltimore gets a bad rep, but uh, that's the one amazing thing about our community. We all come together and, and we fight, especially in times of need and tragedy like this one. And there is a desire to help others. Now, something else we're learning from CBS News is that the tugboats were cut loose, that there was an attempt to drop anchor to try to slow or stop the boat, but uh, we don't know how much progress they were able to make with that. So still a lot of questions, and investigators cautioned that their findings will take time to complete, even though they have a large team here, and they are focused on the search and rescue efforts first. Live in Baltimore County, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Yeah, that's important to point out, Mike. The NTSB saying earlier in their press conference, pointing to another bridge class that they had in this country, and that it took nearly two years just to get some of the answers that they were looking for, specifically with the side of inspection. So this is going to take some time to play out, as there are still plenty of unanswered questions tonight. And the